Idaho has seen thousands of refugees over the last few years, and according to the Idaho Office of Refugees, Boise is recognized nationwide as a welcoming community, thanks in part to many groups and organizations that help them transition. One of those groups is a band called Afrosonics. It's only been around for around six years, but the amount of lives they have touched can't be measured. Alex Livingston sat down with some of the band members. She joins us now with more. Tammy Afrosonics is so unique, and I was fortunate enough to get to listen to the band play after our interview. And when I spoke to the keyboard player, he said he's been in plenty of bands, but nothing quite like this. The life there was very hard, very hard even for having food. Moving from village to village during times of unrest in the Democratic Republic of Congo and Tanzania. We live in camp. Um, there is a limit of food they are giving to you. It's not enough even. One thing remained constant for Elvis Monomatale, his love for music. Music is something that I grew up with since I was very, very young. After decades of living in refugee camps, he and his family got the chance of a lifetime. Call America is paradise. So when they told me like, uh, you go to America, I didn't see any, I didn't see just America, no. I see the paradise. I was asking by myself like where I can find like somebody or like some group that we can join together and I keep singing like I was doing in Africa. That's where Afrosonics comes in. They're a group of musicians based in Boise, but their roots spread much farther than that. Some of the new guys coming to town they're from other parts of Africa that I have not even been to or even have any experience with. Dio Iodeli is from Nigeria and started Afrosonics as a way to use music to bring Idahoans and refugees together. So when you hear these stories, I think it's just amazing. It's mind-blowing. There's a lot of music that's a universal language that everybody can feel, but then uh, just like any language, there's little subtleties that are different. It's like, wow, this is, I'm learning at the same time, and it's all cool showing the, the beauty and the you know, culture and the diversity that we have. Combining these different languages and cultures. Like a soup. You know, you put all the ingredients in, you never know it's going to turn out. Well, no matter where you're born or what it is you're into, you know, there's always ways to mesh all this together. Giving people like Elvis a chance to live his dream. Just like uh, I'm singing with people like, Whoa! You know, that is what I love, I love, I love. And Dio says as of now, they don't have any upcoming performances. He does say that they are continuing to work on new material that will eventually be on their newest album. Tammy. What a great group. Thanks so much, Alex.